This morning, residents in part of Northeast D.C. may not have water for some of the day as crews are working to repair a broken water main. Of course, this comes as temperatures across the region rise to very hot levels today. Matt Gregory is live from the 3800 block of 17th place in Northeast. Uh, Matt, how long could this work last? Do we know how many people are affected by this? Yeah, we're working to figure out how many people are affected, but it looks like a sizable number of homes, Tony, dozens, and how long it would actually um, take to fix. Well, that could be anywhere from 8 to 10 hours, according to D.C. Water, and they just started breaking ground, as you can see over my shoulder, uh, as the sun was coming up. Uh, actually, you can't see because there's the dump truck right there that's moving through. But basically, what happened is you've got a water main break overnight. It's disrupted service to dozens of homes here in the northeast area just off South Dakota Avenue. And as they're just starting to break into the, the ground here at 17th uh, Place, they're able to kind of get an idea on how long it's going to take, what it's going to do. And for folks here on what's going to be the hottest day so far this year to not have water service or full water service for several hours looks like it could be till the afternoon that's going to be difficult in the meantime like you've heard chester say it is going to be a hot one today getting up to 93 degrees some important things to keep in mind right don't do strenuous exercising remember to hydrate and the montgomery county emergency management uh, authority who says one of the things you really should be doing is thinking about those who are most vulnerable today children pets and vulnerable adults should not be left unattended in vehicles for any period of time. Um, temperatures inside a parked vehicle can quickly reach deadly temperatures of 130 degrees or more within just minutes. Um, and if it's if it's too hot for you, it's it's too hot for them. And we need to make sure that we're not leaving folks unattended outside. Yes, yeah, so uh, the work is getting underway over here at 17th place as they start to work to restore that water service to I want to say it's uh, several dozen homes, maybe about 50 to 100 homes possibly in this area that could be having disrupted water service today. And like I said, not an ideal start to Friday, not an ideal start to this first batch of hot weather we're getting in, but sometime this afternoon or maybe a little bit before that we expect to have full service returned in this area northeast for now in northeast. I'm Matt Gregory back to you. Not the news you want to wake up to. Thanks, Matt. Nope. As temps rise over the next few days, hot weather is a reminder that summer is right around the corner and it can get unbearable around here. Brandon Lewis verifies just how dangerous or deadly the heat can be. It's a common gripe this time of year, but for some who work all day outdoors, it's downright dangerous. United Farm Workers tweeted heat is the leading weather related killer. So let's verify. Is heat historically the leading weather related killer in the US? Our sources are FEMA and the National Weather Service, which estimates an average of 138 people died annually from extreme heat in the United States over a 30 year period ending in 2020. FEMA says extreme heat is, quote, responsible for the highest number of annual deaths among all weather related hazards, unquote, more than floods, tornadoes and hurricanes, according to a 30 year average from the National Weather Service. The gap has narrowed over the last 10 years and tornadoes took the top spot in 2020. But the CDC says to expect more extreme heat in the future due to climate change. So we can verify it's true. Heat is historically the leading weather related killer in the US. Remember to take breaks and hydrate often as the summer season settles in. With your verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. I mean, it can be really dangerous mm -hmm. if not taken mm -hmm. seriously. Um, Chester, and it's going to be really hot, not only today, but going into the weekend. I think Saturday looks like, what, 96? 96 talking? is what we're going for, and that would break, break a record high. Wow. wow. Yeah, okay. so uh, this, this could be record-breaking heat across the area. We're talking about temperatures uh, reaching the 90s very easily next few days. I'm going 93 today. The record's 96. And then tomorrow, the record is 96 uh, and we're going rather the record's 95 and I'm going 96 for the high. So we're going to be uh, pretty close, if not breaking a record on Saturday, a little bit cooler, but still hot on Sunday.